Hello and welcome back. This is Ashur Rafi once again. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create and attach a pop-up form to our landing page just like this one step by step from the scratch. So this is the landing page which my client has provided and so far we have created this landing page step by step from the scratch and we have documented every single step in this video which I'm going to attach into the uh, video description for you and you'll find it in this i icon as well so if you have missed you'll be able to follow along to create this beautiful landing page from the scratch and now if i click on this button here on our landing page it is not working because i haven't yet added this form so far so now i'm going to take you to my clients provided page here i'm going to reload and if i just click here on this button from my clients page it is going to show us this pop-up form and we are going to set this up on our page as well in this video so without further ado let me take you to my wordpress dashboard here and after that we are going to go to this templates then click on pop-ups as we are going to create a pop-up uh, form and after that let me just take this pop-up form here so that we to, it will be easier for us to navigate from this one to this one right so now i am going to click on add new button from here and as we are as we have came from pop-up the pop-up is already selected and now let's give a name to your pop-up form you can place whatever you want so i'm going to type like uh, like sign up form sign up form all right and then let's click on create template and now elementor is going to show us some of the pre-built templates which you can use to start from but as you can see these are the beautiful uh, forms which you can use but as my client has hired me to replicate this landing page from the scratch so i should follow and create this landing page so let me show you from the scratch so i'm going to click on this cross icon to start working from the scratch and at the very beginning as you can see this landing uh, this form has a width of 960 um i believe so i'm going with 960 white setup here so let me go to the settings and then i'm going to select the white which is currently to 640 but i'm going to take it to 960 or let's say 1000 okay um okay 1000 and then i'm going to take this uh, column which is going to be this structure and after that in this structure i'm going to take an inner section so that i'll be able to place this image in one side or one column and in another column I'm, i'll be able to put my form and the heading here as you can see so let's just go back here i'm going to widgets then i'm going to drag an inner section right here and after that let's take the image widget drag and drop it here and in this widget i'm going to click here and then i'm going to type out form and let's drag this form widget here right so we have got the basic structure already appearing here so now let's go back here i i have got this header here so first of all let me just copy this header and let's take the measurement and the other information of the header as you can see the font is lato and then the font weight is 300 and the font size is 40 pixels and here's the color so i'm going to take this um header now so let me just go to widgets Take this header right here and after that i'm going to paste the copied content and then i have to make the adjustment on style let's go to color so let's take the color code from here copy and paste it here so we have got the color now let's go back again we have got lato 40 pixels 300 white so let's go to typography let's change the font family to lato and then the font size is 40 pixels and the font weight is 300 right so we have got the basic structure what we have actually what we needed so now let's upload the image and here is the image which i would love to upload insert all right so we have got the image as well now we have to work on let me just click on exit what font okay we have to work on these fields like the button and other things so let me just change the placeholders first so let's go back here and then we're going to change remove the label from here as well so i just clicked here and then go to name 
then from label we don't want to see the label so that the label is removed from here all right now let's change the name uh, placeholder so the placeholder is going to be your name your name and then on email we have got your email address so i'm going to type it out here as well so let's go to um, email and we don't want this label again so let me just make the change your e sorry your email address okay and then we have got message field which is not available here so we can simply just delete this one from here right so we have got everything set it up now let's go for this text which is uh, saying like send me the free uh, free download so i'm going to change the text from button and here instead of this submit send um, text here i love to type out like uh, send me the free download okay send me the free download okay so we have got the structure now let me just make the adjustment on the button first so the button is going to be in the color of let me just take pigzy which we have been using from the beginning of the studies of landing page design and i'm going to take the color code control alter copy and then go to style oops not yeah go to style and from buttons we are going to change the background color of the button to this color and then we are going to okay so it's totally fine here now we are going to hover and from background color we're going to put this color again but it is going to be a little bit different so just take a look when i'm hovering over it is changing a little more okay so now let's change the font family and other information of this text so i'm going to use this what is font lato 400 weight 30 pixels and white uh, text so let's click here or actually let's go to typography and then the font family is lato and it is going to be 30 pixels and the font weight is 400 okay so now it's not looking good for sure but we're going to make it uh, looking good for uh, soon so first of all let me just decrease this column size so let me just decrease okay so just take a look it is just getting in the shape now let's go back again here and we have got this let me just omit this one okay we have got this um border uh, border radius right so i'm going to give the border radius here so here as you can see border radius it is selected to 50 and just take a look we have got this border radius already and the text size okay so and then we have to give some text padding here so let me just give like i'm going to uncheck then in on top i'm going to give 15 on bottom i'm going to give 15 and just take a look we have got a bigger sized um button here right but the chat uh, but the color is not looking good here so i'm going to make actually uh you can actually spend more time to customize the color and give it the proper coloring here but i'm not going to spend more time here because I, my intention of these tutorials and this series tutorial is to give you a clear overview how you can customize things and how you can set things up so i believe i am being able to show you what you needed so i shouldn't spend more time on this colorize and other information right so now if i just show you here on these text fields as you can see we have got this border radius we have got a little uh, bigger text size and let me just uh, we have got some gap as well so let me just show you how we can do this so from this text field let me take you here from field we have got the text color it should be as it is no problem we don't have to change but we can simply okay so the font is going to be uh, i don't know so let me just click here and yeah the font is here uh, gentium basic 24 pixel 400 so i'm going to change the font family from here gentium basic 24 pixels and yeah 400 white i believe so 24 and 400 is the weight font weight okay so i'm all good let's go back here okay so it all looks good here now we are going to um, we are going to uh, give this border radius as well so as you can see border radius here so we are going to give like 50 
and just take a look we have got this beautiful border radius appeared so now let's go back here we have got this gap in between so i'm going to omit this one okay we have got this gap and now if i go to okay form as you can see here row gap so we, we can increase the gap from here so let's say 35 35 is going to look nice i guess yeah so 35 is looking nice here and now as you can see we are going to place this one in the middle center vertical alignment to middle it is going to be state middle now we have got some padding stuffs in our main section so we are going to give like 50 pixels top 50 pixels bottom and 30 and 30 pixels on um, left and right so let me just give them so let's click here go to advanced and then from padding i'm going to unlink this one then on top i'm going to give 50 pixels on bottom i'm going to give 50 pixels uh, 50 pixels and then on right i'm going to give 30 pixels and on left i'm going to give like yeah let's say 20 pixels no i actually don't need to provide any spacing in the left side as i'm seeing it's looking good here right so now we are done with this part as you can see it's time to click here on this form then go to content and here as you can see from actions after submit we have to select something here we are going to select pop-up as it is a pop-up form and after that select this pop-up and action is going to be close pop-up right so now let's click on publish and we don't have to put any triggers as we are going to connect this uh, pop-up window into into our let's say uh, button okay so one thing i have just missed uh, which is which should be like go to advanced and we're going to give like um from motion effects we are going to give a fade in fade out it is going to be uh, bounce in bounce down or sliding in down sliding okay so let me just see yeah it's looking great so we have just given this animation here which we had here as well just take a look right so i have just changed the animation now let's go to publish we have got all the settings up so let's click on next next and save and close make sure you have uh, remembered the pop-up name which is uh, sign up form okay so i'm going to take you to this page here which is we have created so far and i'm going to take it now here right so now if i click here on this button it is not working but it is going to work soon so i'm going to click on edit with elementor now and let's take uh, let me take you to this button and after that so let's click on this dynamic tags and then we are going to find pop up and after that from these settings we are going to select this one to action open pop up and then select the pop up which is going to be like email sign up form where it is easy it is going to be uh i forgot the name sign up form okay so let me type out sign yeah here you go sign up form so let's click on sign up form and now if i click on update and if we visit this page in a new tab and let's click here just take a look we have got this beautiful sign up form working so this was it guys i believe you have found this step-by-step -step tutorial helpful and if you'd love to know more about this um landing page design series i have got let me show you just let me show you from here go to youtube then find alcharul rafi visit my youtube channel basically you can and click here on my channel go to playlists and you are going to find landing page with Elementor where I already have got five videos and we have covered a lot already. So now you will you will be able to find all the videos in this playlist and I'm going to include this one as well. So please watch this series which I have shared all of these projects, all of these tasks which I have done for my client. All right. So if you're interested to start freelancing, if you're interested to... Um, become or actually pro interested to provide these landing page design services or um, website design services using elementor page builder you can follow me 
from now on all right so i have to see you in the next video and i believe you have found this tutorial helpful if you did please give this video a like as you can see uh, out of 689 viewers i have got 47 likes already so all of these all of the viewers are finding my tutorials helpful so i really appreciate their um, kind contribution they like the videos and, and i really appreciate so i believe you are going to like this video as well because i believe i have provided great value throughout this video all right and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and i have to see you in the next video thank you so much for staying with me